Okay, so good news, bad news, good news. Um, bad news is, or good news was, I bought an awesome Itet Hill folding solar panel, and it comes with a built-in uh, voltage regulator. Bad news, I short-circuited the voltage regulator when I tried to directly charge uh, my solar panel to my e-bike battery well I short-circuited the little voltage regulator see it comes with a little DC plug and it comes with the USB plug really convenient that's really helpful um, and it works really well okay so well because it because it I broke it I went and I got another one and it comes with that DC plug and so I plug it into my Rock Pals 300, and the new one gives us, you know, 26, 26, it, a minute ago it was about 49 volts going in, so what's it doing right now, 26 volts, am I in the way, no, 26 volts right now from, oh, 30, so it, it went up to about 49 volts input just a few minutes ago right here in bright sunlight see I put the old one and the new one side by side the old one I went and I removed the short circuited voltage regulator and I attached a DC socket and now we can plug in any DC socket cord to charge up our, our power stations so the DC socket has come in handy it's now allowed me to plug in all of the car charger plugs for the various uh, power stations I have this rock pals I have a little next pal that I really like and then like I have that echo flow Delta and it has it has a, a car charger plug as well so that's that's cool so that's really helpful so I didn't have to discard my old foldable solar panel I just created a new connection and the good solar pan the good solar generators they have built-in voltage regulators with overcharge protection and fuses for their voltage regulation and that and then this seems to be more utilitarian and more helpful than this only because I have voltage generators to absorb using this this car charger plug so this car charger plug is not useless anymore after all and it will be really helpful so I have the new one, which still has its original voltage regulator built in. It's built in into the back. Let's see if we can show it off. Oh, that's, that's the old one right there. Look at the old one right there. See, that's where I connected the positive and negative right there. And then... Here's the new one right there. See, it's got the voltage regulator built in, and that's where the DC plugs in. And so it has a, a USB on the side, really helpful. A USB 3 on the top, really helpful. And then the DC plug, really helpful. So this is a really good foldable solar panel. So now I have two, and they both work great. See, now that one's got... 57, 56 going in. That's really good. So, which one is plugged in right now? The one that's plugged in right now Is the one with the DC socket, the old one, and it's given us 55, 54. I got in the way. 51. 
Okay, so 50 watts from that connection, raw power, and then through the Etet Hill voltage regulator and new DC plug. Let's see if the power goes upward, upward, upward. 22, it might stay at 22. It might be the raw power straight to the rock pals is giving us more juice. I mean, both solar panels are laying side by side next to each other. They should be giving us the same amount. Right? So maybe the direct power is giving us better better power to our rock pals faster power who knows well that's better than throwing away a good foldable solar panel isn't it that that hack sure saved the day good news what about that one over there <laughs>